Bonnie. Happy, wait for it, Thursday. <laughs> Why on earth did I think that yesterday was Tuesday? Twice. I'm like, oh my goodness. How funny was that? <laughs> I know what day it is now, so that's a good thing. I hope everyone's having a good day. It is raining here like cats and dogs. Seriously, monsoon, I went out again to the grocery store. I don't know why I did that this morning. And um, I'm like walking from my car, like sloshing. <laughs> it was horrible. So I'm not going to Bath and Body Works today. It's too icky out. But I do have a couple of things to talk about. I want to talk about the Mother's Day tote, which is now available to everyone online. And they ship mine already. I'm like, oh my gosh. I also want to talk about the new aromatherapy shampoo, which I tried out. So I'm excited about that. So... Whew, where do I start? Um, Bath and Body Works tote. I got a lot to say here. <laughs> so if you didn't see my video yesterday or you're just joining me for the first time, Bath and Body Works, where'd my little piece of paper go, has the Mother's Day, they call it the, um, what do they call it? They call it the reusable spring tote online. Um, this is actually what it looks like. It's kind of the sunshine mimosa pattern. Super pretty. I cannot wait to get mine. So I ordered yesterday afternoon, got the shipping notification, and they claim it's coming tomorrow. I'm like, what? It's so like, cross your fingers. I'm like, that'll be awesome if it gets here tomorrow. It could be that the, sh the notification is just a little bit off, though. But um, who knows? Uh, we shall see if it gets here tomorrow. So you're going to get sunshine mimosa in that one. Uh, Sunwash citrus and white tea and sage products. The bag will cost $35, but you have to spend $30. That's kind of a problem because right now there's no good sales. There's no candle sale, and the body care is buy three, get one. So my recommendation is to either get the wallflowers, which are on sale now, or maybe some of the new soap. I got um, a bunch of these. This is the crisp apple. Um, I like that new spring strawberry pound cake, fresh cut linen. Um, I also wanted to talk about white tea and sage. This is in the bag. So white tea and sage is fresh tea, lemon and herbs. Oh my goodness, this scent is amazing. It does. It smells like fresh tea. It smells like a hint of lemon and sage. I really like this scent. Um, so I'm excited to get the three wick in, um, what are they calling it? The reusable spring bag. I call it the Mother's Day tote. Some people call it the VIP tote. Um, I heard it's one of those um, kind of reusable bags. It's not the super thick one. I actually like the thinner bag. And I'm so excited that it's in the Sunshine Mimosa pattern. So I'm like all about that. So I'm excited about that. If it comes tomorrow, I will be, uh, I'll be revealing it. I can't wait. <laughs> so I want to talk about shampoo now. So I did use this for two days. Check it out. This is the brand new Aromatherapy Lavender and Vanilla. It's, it's called Sleep Shampoo and Conditioner. They also have the Eucalyptus um, Spearmint one. So I have some mixed feelings about Bath & Body Works hair care products. Um, the good news is I like them. They're a great product. Um, the problem is they don't always keep them in, um, in stock. So a lot of times they'll have them for a while, then they go away. Uh, one summer we got these amazing hair masks, and then it's like they're not – a permanent fixture at Bath and Body Works. So while we get hair care products, if you if you start to love something, you better stock up because a lot of times it will go away. Um, same with that blueberry extract uh, hair mask that's part of the wellness collection. If you like those, I recommend buying them, um, or you can wait for semi annual sale and hope they go on sale. So my hair care routine is pretty steady at the moment. Um, I have troublesome hair. <laughs> So my hair used to be, if you look at my older videos, I would keep it pretty short, like chin length. I like it longer, but for a long time, I could not find a shampoo that allowed me to grow my hair out where it wasn't like all dried out because I have naturally wavy, curly hair and I'm 51 years old. So my hair does tend to dry out a little bit. So about a year ago, I started using the Korean Beauty. This is called the Elastine for Polythera Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. It's got royal jelly in it. It's got um, the uh, honey. 
this saved my hair. There's a hair mask. Um, actually, Avon sells this, and I, I became a rep just so I can get the shampoo. <laughs> so I actually have another channel. It's called Beauty Geek. I'll put the link below if anyone's interested in seeing my videos on um, this shampoo. The interesting thing is it's really strong florally. At first, I didn't like the scent. I'm like, oh my gosh, this scent is so strong. Now, I can't get enough of it. I'm addicted to the scent of the shampoo, but like I said, this is Korean beauty, and I really love that. So I typically use um, the Elastine products about four to five days a week. The conditioner um, is very um, heavy on your hair, and it takes a long time to rinse out, um, but it does wonders. Like, my hair has never been like more shiny in my life. I also like the Lush Hair Bars. This is the uh, Snow Fairy, and then I've got the Scenic, which smells amazing. It smells like the ocean, and it's got little seaweed in it from Lush. So about once a week, I will use one of these hair bars, because I feel like this is like a clarifying type of hair bar. It gets my hair like squeaky clean. Um, I also want to roll in the Bath and Body Works now to my hair routine. I think I'm going to start using this about once a week. I really liked it. And what's interesting about me with shampoo is I tend to get like a little bit desensitized on like scent. And once in a while, I do like to have different scented uh, hair products just because I like variety, kind of like uh, shower gel. So um, I used the shampoo, obviously, first. Um, this one is essential oil, vitamin B5, aloe, and vitamin E. Um, it says, this moisturizing shampoo gently cleanses and hydrates hair to restore softness. It is color-treated safe. I do color my hair. <laughs> so I do it at home. I just use, like, um, L'Oreal. And the formula, oops, on this, <clears throat> it's kind of like a pearlized um, formula. It smells really good. It smells like the lavender vanilla body care products. I really thought it was relaxing in the shower to use this. Um, it had a really good lather. It rinsed clean. I really enjoyed the experience. Um, the conditioner is a little bit more like... Um, it almost feels like Pond's cold cream. Like the consistency... It's a lot thicker than, um, like, these hair masks, in my opinion. Oops, where did the Bath & Body Works? I just had it. Um, these feel a little bit more like cream rinse to me. I, f I found these to be a little bit thinner, if you remember these. Um, but this felt really thick. I mean, it coated my hair really, really well. And, you know, I kept it on for about five minutes, rinsed it out. It was a really nice experience. I really liked it. Um, and then the next day, I did feel like my hair, I mean, it was shiny. It, it, it was good. I did, however, use, I always use the um, Propolythera uh, hair treatments. Like I have an oil, a serum. So I always mix in hair treatments um, from that line anytime I use whatever shampoo I'm using. <laughs> I have um, a volumizing spray, I have a serum oil, all kinds of stuff I put on my hair <laughs> to keep it shiny. <laughs> then we have the stress relief. Now, I thought this one was a little bit strong when I smelled it in the bottle. However, when I used it on my hair, it did have kind of a nice relaxing um, kind of like element to it. It felt good. I was like, wow, this does feel kind of spa-like on your hair. The scent didn't really linger too much, maybe a little bit afterwards. I didn't think it was overpowering though. Um, so if you like that eucalyptus stress relief scent in the body care, I think you're going to really like the shampoo. If you find this to be too strong in the body care, I don't recommend putting it on your hair because then it's going to like, you're going to be, especially if you have long hair, it's going to be like a lot <laughs> of scent on your hair. Um, but I like both of them. I would like to, I'm going to get the shampoo in this one too, because I need to try the shampoo. But overall, 
Um, these are awesome. They are $14.50 for a 16 ounce bottle, which is not bad. And my store is doing that $5 off body care right now. So I would get these for, what is that, like $9.50? which to me, that's like a great deal for 16 ounces of hair product. What we need is an aromatherapy sale. If we did an aromatherapy sale and they did like 650 on these, I'd be snatching up a bunch of these <laughs> um, and stocking up. Because um, once I get into a hair routine, I don't like to stop. So like I said, I think right now, um, two to three, uh, three to four times a week, I like to use my Propali Elastine. I do once a week on my Lush Hair Bars. And then I'm going to try and... Uh, use this maybe one or two times a week and I'm going to try and like alternate between um this conditioner and um that blueberry one because I really like how that blueberry the blueberry would go really nicely with the lavender vanilla I think I don't think I would put the blueberry on after I used the eucalyptus stress relief I think I would keep these together shampoo conditioner so that's kind of my take on these but they're nice products I mean if you've been wanting to try a Bath and Body Works hair care product I think these are like fabulous. Oh my gosh. I think everyone's going to really like these. I'm just, I haven't read any of the reviews, but people are giving these things really good reviews. So that's what um, I think of the shampoo. I love it. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome Thursday. <laughs> I will probably be back later with another video. Bye-bye.